it's going to be of the same nature. Whatever you do is going to be part of the dream. So all it needs is to realize, to be realized as dream, you know. That means not that you just kind of say to yourself, oh, it's just a dream. Because you, <coughs> you, you can lie to yourself as well in the dream. You learn the text, you know. You learn the scripture, if you like, of the of the screen, of wha whatever. But you need to be absolutely aware that it's a dream. Meaning, you need, in this case, the dream says, well, the dream is the I thought, and yes, I think so. it's pretty powerful <coughs> stuff. So, I like to move away from it. Who? Who wants to move away from it? If the dream is the I, the answer is I want to move. Oh, so that's another dream. Until there is no one who wants to move away from the dream, there is no reality. Reality it's not running away from anything. It's very still, it's where you are. And you don't need to move an inch anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You're not coming from anywhere. You're not becoming anything. You don't have a beginning or an end. You don't have prana. That's reality. Prana is physical. So you're not alive or dead. Da da death and life pertains to the body, not to the Supreme Consciousness. So you kind of, until the dream is over, you see, by reco being recognized as dream, you will be part of the dream. In a sense, is I the dream? So if you ask yourself, who wants to be out of a dream? Your honest answer, yes, is I. I like to. So that I is the dream. <coughs> now the fantasy yeah, is so beautifully complex that it appears to be that the dream is that one and not this one. But then you're mistaken, you know, because your eye is looking too far, you can't see the stone and you plop. If you look too far, you don't see the path. So if you look into the dream, you don't see the dream about what, how to deal with the dream. Mm -hmm. You look into the dream, but you don't see the dream of your strategy. And that is the dream you need to become aware of, not the dream that you want to overtake. You need to find a dream that is making you move towards some rejection or some hope and this is something I used to say but in English doesn't sound very good but I say it again truth is a hopeless land but in English hopeless has a bad negative connotation but hopeless is quite nice because when you don't have hopes you have bliss When you don't wish for things to be better, you see them better already. Yes. Is that making sense? Yes. Thank you. Mm, yes. The stone is just down there, you know. If you know you need to be where your feet are, if you stay where your mind is, it's far away, you don't see the stone, and you tumble. And you blame the dream that you can see far away, you don't name, you don't blame the dream that make you tumble. Because if you're not dreaming that one, 
you're not moving. Stay very still. Very still and happy. We have a question here, please. We can move the microphone. It, it seems to me there's a paradox, because the, th the thing you said to Vera, similar mm. to what you said to me before about the story, but then you also say, boycott the mind. So that seems like two opposite instructions. That's it. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm, <laughs> well, to me, it does. Sorry. Yes. No, no. I just. I, I'm. <laughs> because I'm not <laughs> ending the dialogue. <laughs> okay, fine. Bye. <laughs> I thought you said that's it. <laughs> what? <laughs> to me, it seems like there's the instruction that says, "Who says you have to not get involved in the story or whatever?" Mm -hmm. mm. Right? Mm. There's that. And then there's the instruction that says, boycott the mind. Mm. Uh, well, that seems to me to be a paradox, because... Do, do you understand what I'm saying? I think so. What do you think? Do I think that you think? That mm. it is? <laughs> do you think I understand what you're saying? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Like, one instruction is, who's the one that wants to drop the story? Mm. That's still the mind. And then the other instruction is, boycott the mind. Who's boycotting the mind? Very good question. And what's the answer? Well, that's the question. That's my <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's a question that you need to find the answer. Well, that's why I think it's a paradox, because I think sometimes it's one and sometimes it's the other. Yes, but it's natural, you know, the, natu the nature of paradox, it's all over in, in language and in manifestation. And in the, in the w when, you, when you speak about things, you always have two ways of listening to this, at least, if not more. It also happens, you know, that when I'm talking to you or I'm talking... It depends on wh where you are at in that moment. So if you are, for example, as I, like I said earlier, I happily go in the dream and I tell you to do something in the dream because I'm guiding you from the in the dream, from outside. So then you have an instruction that is in the dream and an instruction that is out of the dream. You understand? So who is I'm giving the instructions to somebody in the dream, and I'm also giving the instruction to the self that you are. Mm. Yeah, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes. yes, and that's what happens with, that's what happens in satsang, that's why it's so complex, because, you know, I'm talking to more than you. Mm. I'm talking to, to, to many you, you know, when I talk. I talk to you in the dream, and I talk to you in reality, and I talk to you in both sides, so I kind of keep a dialogue. Is I can go in the dream, and I can come out of the dream, and I'm in the dream, no, it's a dream, but I can be the dream. This is why I have fun. <laughs> Whilst you, you're not having so much fun in the dream. <laughs> But at the same time, you know, having said that, it's the dream, you see, in the dream, is not all lost. And remember that the dream is consciousness. It's not like we like to imagine either the dream or, you know. So this is why if it's as valid as an instruction within the dream, as an instruction beyond the dream. The... And that's the main difference, you see. In the tradition, 
you know, in the tradition, the transmission of truth, yes, it can be done in different levels. It can be done through yoga, yes, through practice, and it can be done through speech. This is it's, it's a spiritual teacher who knows the scriptures and he can tell you the scriptures. But you also, in the tradition, you have a guru. And the guru is different than the teacher. Because the guru belongs to to the to different worlds. At the same time, he can be in your world and out of it. That's different altogether. It's not a lecture. He's not lecturing you. He's just completely dwelling in the reality and out of the reality. I'm not saying it's more or less, I'm just saying it's a phenomenality that has the capacity to go in there, it exists in your mind. It's what you make of him or her. So if you're open and you trust, you hear the instructions in the dream, and you come out hand by hand of the dream. And the, you know, and he can hold your hand and even draw, uh, walk some steps with you and check on you how you're doing and then kind of <laughs> off you go into another dream. So he, in the dream, for you, means already the end of the dream. And he has the power to do that. That power you give him as well, you know. So this is the difference, and this is why the dialogues are awkward, and they are sometimes full of, um, uh, uh, how do you call it, paradox, but not even, well, contradictions more than paradox. It's just like, he can easily say to you, don't do it, now do it. No, don't do it, do it, no, do it. You just go like mad. And there are famous stories of that. You know, many, many beautiful stories of interactions with such a being, and they go like this, and you just come, you get, re you know, it's just, f well, you stretch it as much as unlimited fantasy, because then in that in that interaction, he can go deep in the dreams where you are. He can still be in your dreams. And out of it, at the same time, he's, he's, he's one foot in and one foot out. But you don't notice it. So there is a blessing in a way, because there is purity coming into the dream. And, I mean, it's a way of speaking, of course. You know. It's only a way of speaking. In satsang happens, by the, by the power of yours, you know, because it's your power, it's not only the Guru's power, it's your own power that you m make it happen, that you trust and you believe and you see, because you trust in that moment, because you, you confess to yourself you don't know the way out, then you trust and then you get this yes and no, and absolutely maybe, you know, going on. And you just go like... Sometimes it's actually breaking your mind pattern because it makes you reach the impossible. There is a moment you just let go. He tells you, jump, don't jump. You get to get ready for jumping. We're going to jump at 2 o'clock. And you go suffering like 8 hours. Oh my God, it's coming on. It's just like, I don't know if I do it. I should do it or not. Well, yes, I'm going to. No, I'm not. The child. And what if? And you go through all kind of mental torture. And two o'clock comes and you're ready to jump and you say, I'm ready to jump. And he turns to you and says, jump where? Because the path was that process you went before and not the jump. The jump was already happened, had already happened. You see? The moment he said it happened.
And that happens beyond his own control at all. Huh? He's an instrument of the divine. He's just following his h heart and his instinct. He's completely an instrument like a guitar is for the musician. He doesn't get involved with that. He doesn't think, what should I say, or should I say it now or not. He's completely n flowing. Because you need, you know, the Guru is, uh, is invisible. And it's that aspect of you that contains natural wisdom. Now, because you don't trust it in you, you, you want to see it. You can't trust something invisible. So then you want something visible, and particularly if it's possible, similar to you, another person. And then it manifests in front of you. But what it's speaking is your inner wisdom. That is who's really listening. Because you make out of the words what you are capable of doing. So then you meet your inner guru through an outer guru when there is connection. Then he's pointing at your own wisdom. He's voicing your own wisdom. In your mind, if you listen from, uh, from a personal perspective, you may think it's his words. But what you're listening is your words. And then you realize that. And then you realize there is something special happening. You see? because you realize that there is an interconnectedness going on. So basically, you lis you're listening to your own wisdom expressed externally, you see, manifesting in front of you, but really it's resonating in your own wisdom. That's, that's when it really enters. Then you become aware of the of the guru within, and then you find the guru in you, and the guru in you is yourself, your true self. It's your le bodiless self, and at that level, you're one with the guru. At that level, you're one with the with the guru, and you're one with everyone, in fact. Yes, so th but the Guru was that bridge that took you from separation into oneness. So contradictions, you know, and paradoxes are it's just the nature of it. The Guru is so also smashing your rational qualities, you know, the of rational th taking things rationally. So then he also stretches your capacity to to reason till it burns out. It's not always pleasurable to be, you know, in satsang. Sometimes it's very, st very stressful and even like a torture. <laughs> and and then you realize, you know, I in a way it's like life, but condensed. So then you realize the best way to be in satsang is to be relaxed and quiet and not to follow too much the words. Basically, if I understand it, I understand it in the moment. If I didn't understand it in the moment, I'm not going to dwell with it. That's the best attitude. Because you're just flowing. And then, if you start flowing, every word makes, ma makes sense because you reach your own wisdom. And when you reach your own wisdom, everything makes sense. When you don't reach your own wisdom, everything is quite complicated, and you're trying to remember what I'm saying. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> okay. 